In this video I'm going to show you how we can take a Jaco Pistorius bass riff and turn it into a really usable groove that we can use in funk and soul bass lines. This groove is a simple idea but Jaco really developed it and turned it into quintessential Jaco, something that was really unique and people could recognise in his bass lines. I'm talking about the sort of ideas and riffs that you'd find in a Jaco bass line like the chicken for example, so he'd play this type of thing. Don't worry, I'm not going to show you that particular riff, it's quite tricky to play. Um, but I have written this down and all the um, exercises from this lesson on a PDF. You can get that for free in standard notation and tab by clicking the link below in the description. Jacko also played a kind of similar pattern on the chorus of Come On, Come Over. It's kind of like this. Okay, so there's lots of kind of chromatic uh, walk-ups like this. Okay. Now both bass lines start on the root note, so if we look at the chicken first, that's in B flat. And they move to the fifth, so in this case here, okay, you can see this fretboard shape, so you've got the root and the fifth, moves to the F, and then back to the B flat again. Um, so, and when we start on the D, starts on the D, moves to the A, and back to the D again. So it's really kind of, even though it's one chord, it's moving from chord one, sort of implying moving to chord five, and then back to chord one again. And there's a chromatic kind of walk up when we go back to chord one. Okay, so we've got the three notes leading up to the root note again. If we simplify things a bit, uh, leave out a few notes and also leave out the muted notes. We've got this basic pattern here. We've got B flat going up to F and then we've got the three frets below B flat leading to B flat again. Okay, so B flat, F, G, G sharp, A, B flat. But we're going to use 16th notes. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. Okay, so we're just doubling up with 16th notes. So again, three, four, one, off, three, four, B flat again, one, off. Okay, so we can try that on D. So just start with D and you do the same pattern. So we're going D to A and back to D with this three frets below. Okay, so three, four, one, off, three, four, one, okay. Now these patterns you might find fairly fast because we've got 16th notes in them. Okay, so B flat, and then D, You see all those in the PDF, um, so make sure you download that, that will really help with this lesson. Jacko developed this particular idea and he used kind of different ways to incorporate it into both of the bass lines, so he changed it slightly but it's essentially the same idea. If you're enjoying this video then don't forget to subscribe to my channel, you can do that by clicking the red subscribe button and also don't forget to ring the bell and you'll get notified of all my new lessons as they come out. I'm now going to show you how to play a pattern based on this idea and how you can use that in your bass lines. So say you're playing in a, a funk or a soul tune and you're playing a bass line and you've got one chord and you've got to try and make it interesting. Um, so say we're going to have an A7 chord. Now what you can do is you can go from A up to the fifth which is E and then back to A again. Okay, so you can see that on the fret diagram you're just playing root and fifth okay but we're going to lead up to the fifth with the three frets below okay and then back to a again with the three frets below a okay but 
but we're going to use 16th notes and double up each note. If you play that faster, it sounds really effective. Okay, slower. So really the target notes are A, E, A, okay? And we're just implying that E. It's not actually uh, in the chord progression necessarily, um, but it, as it's the fifth, it will always work, okay? So a guitar or keys player could be holding an A down, you can do this. And that still kind of works over one chord, so it just makes it more interesting. Now you can also hear this 16th note groove in bass lines by players such as Rocco from Tower of Power and Jerry Dramot. Um, they're all kind of around at the same time, influencing each other and being influenced by the general scene. So this 16th note kind of groove is a, a really popular one in the soul kind of funk style. And it would work if there was a chord progression with A to E back to A again. So um, chord one, chord five, chord one. So if they had that, then that again, that works. Um, you could just, um, actually, you would be going to, everyone would be changing to E there and then back to A, okay? So it kind of works in both situations. So what I do now is work on getting this um, riff under your fingers and then try and speed it up gradually so you're playing it with 16th notes, okay? Then to make sure that you really know the pattern and you can use it in any key, start on different root notes. So we could start on E on the seventh fret of the um, A string. So we could be going up from E, and then remember, you're going to A the fifth, and then stepping back to E. So start with your second finger on the seventh fret of the A string, and, and play it with me. Three, four. Going round. Well, we could start on C. So we're going from C to G to C. And you can use that open A there. Okay. Try that with me, get your second finger on C, the third fret of the A string, three, four. And if you find that too tricky, too fast, just don't use the sixteenth notes, just play it with eighth notes. try to incorporate the 16th notes, you'll have to use alternate plucking, okay? Um, but you can start it really slow with metronome and then gradually speed it up. Well that's the groove and I hope you like it. It was a really important discovery for me um, when I found this and started using it in a bass line. It sounded great and there's loads of situations that you can use it in. Um, even a lesson I did a few, um, about three lessons ago about a blues walk up. It's based on that pattern. You can slow it down and use it in a walking bass line. It's really effective though uh, in this kind of funk soul style when you're using 16th notes. Remember that you can download the PDF for free with all these exercises. You can get that by clicking the link in the description below. And let me know in the comments if you like this lesson, if you like the groove, what you thought of it, um, if you can play it or not. So I love seeing all your comments, so just leave that below the video. And don't forget to like this video, which really helps me out. If you felt that you got value out of this lesson, then you can always help support me to keep these YouTube videos and PDFs free. You can see um, the details there at the bottom of the screen, or if you go in the description, there are clickable links there. You can pay by card or by PayPal. It's a $5 coffee, so that really helps me out as well. Also, make sure that you head over to my website, gbshed.com, 
I've got loads more free base resources there and details of my video courses. You can get a PDF booklet with all um, the PDFs from the first 50 YouTube videos. Um, my base books are over there. You can get t-shirts, different designs, caps, loads of stuff. So check out my website gbshed.com and also look in the description. There are loads of links and useful information in there too. This is Greg from Greg Space Shed. Hopefully see you very soon in the next video.